We are Magic 102.3 and 92.7, the real sound of the DMV. VJ in the midday, it's Vic Jagger. You know, I get real excited when I have special guests, especially, (laughs) you know, she's a singer, a songwriter, a multi-platinum selling artist. The legendary group Escape and now doing her own thing and a queen of R&B, Latasha Scott. Hey, how you doing, baby? I'm good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling blessed. Are you? I'm talk- yes, I'm feeling blessed, even without the sleep. <laughs> when I tell you I have not had any sleep. But yeah, no, I'm good. I'm so good now. It is peace. It is good to see you, and it's good to see you in, in great spirits, you mm. know, um, especially because I know it's exciting to have a new project that you're working on. And, of course, you've been on every red carpet lately yes. because you do have a new show that's out as well. Yes. And I know, I know, it's, it's a lot of headlines and all of that. But yeah. uh, the thing that I do want to know from you, um, because, you know, we read a lot and I take everything with a grain of salt. <laughs> and, you know, now that the show is here and this entire thing has been done, I do want to know what you took away from the experience. Um, A lot. Um, First of all, to walk in your truth, Mm -hmm. whatever that is. And to also, you know, stay passionate about what you believe in. Yeah. Um, When we first got the call that, hey, this is a after the versus battle, it was going to be a thing. You know, Mm -hmm. I I talked to Coco and that's my friend. And we just said, listen, we're going to go into this thing and we're going to make sure it's all about the music. It was all about going on tour and be real women and stand up women. We've been in the business for 30 years, so no banter, no back and forth. We're just going to give the world what we felt in our hearts. We wanted to give them. And that's music and showing that, you know, girls can actually withstand the test of time. This industry is tough. It's really, really tough. Um, so that's what the initial thing was. Um, mm-hmm. Getting into it, you know, I learned a lot. Different personalities. Um, my husband and I like to talk about things. Sometimes we talk about emotional and then ego because a lot of times you wear your egos. Oh, wow. Okay. So it was, it's just a lot of that. But mm-hmm. overall, just staying true to who I am. That's what I learned. And you know what? And you're the oldest, right? Um, not out of the whole bunch, but out of my group, yes. Okay. So... Within your sister, like your, you're the older sibling. I am. Because I'm an older sibling. Yes. And so, you know, the mm-hmm. the going back and forth and the, hey, you mm-hmm. know, sometimes as older siblings, it's like, okay, why do I always have to be the bigger person, mom? But okay, you yes. know, and to see that play out, I think a lot of, um, especially your fans, um, you never want to see sisters mm-hmm. get into it. And I yeah. know that they're, um, when it comes to family issues, and I've seen, you know, the trail, I've seen your mom, you know, mm-hmm. involved. When it comes to family issues, I think it takes it to another level. It does. Because it's deeply personal. Um, and this is someone that has known you your entire life. Yes. You know. Um, so has there been any type of, we'll say, family meeting where you can come together? Because I think you were quoted as saying um, with family you don't always get along or agree with everything but the love that we share Mm -hmm. could never be duplicated or replaced right and so I'm looking at it like there could be a light there yeah because I get into it my sister too and I'm like I don't want to talk to you don't call me for two weeks whatever you know I just need to take a break Mm -hmm. Um, do you think that you can get back to that place with your sister where y'all can, you know, yeah, of work, course, work it of out. Of course, you know, that is my blood sister. Yeah. And with me, you know, I, I, I kind of wear my feelings on my sleeve at times when it comes to family, mm-hmm. but also know to keep family where it's supposed to be. So there, there have been times when, you know, I'll, I'll keep it like this. When my father left, my sister went through a lot. You know, there were times when she would act out in school. I know she even got kicked out of school a couple of times because she had issues, mental issues when it comes down to, I want to say losing my dad because he's still here, but the fact that he walked away. So we've had to deal with certain things internally that I never spoke on. That's just not what I do. You know, I was always raised... What happens at home stays at home. Mm -hmm. You know, we can move some tables if need to be, you know, but at the end of the day, nobody else knows that. So now that it is um, a topic, I just feel like with my sister, I love her. And no, nobody else can talk about it. We're going we're going to handle this behind. And that's just who I am. You know, that's my sister. So when we go through things in life, but 
it's unfortunate that, you know, that part got seen, you know, got shown. You know, nobody wants that part to be shown. Yeah. That, the fact that we would have those type of internal issues. But mom is always there to diffuse. So it just made it difficult to put her in a situation where it was like, it's one-sided. It's not one-sided. This is who we've always been. Mom has always been able to rectify. Always yeah. been there to say, hey, we're going to pray about this and get through it. But nobody else really knows how that works. Yeah. So you're getting a glimpse of, you know, how it really is. And then sometimes when people have to be held accountable, they don't want to be held accountable for the things mm-hmm. that they do. And they yeah. act out. Now, this is not your first time doing reality TV because, you know, of course, you were on R&B Diva. Yes. But I think with that shows more of like, these are my colleagues. These are people Mm -hmm. in the industry. And now with the queens of R&B, this is like your group. Like these are your sisters. These are you been through a lot together. We have. And you have two powerhouse groups that are coming um, together. And, you know, Coco went on. Of course, she did a video where she was saying, no, there will be no tour. And then I think a lot of people were uh, disappointed with that. Um, and like I said, it's been up and down. Will you, do you think you'll ever get to a place where you guys can make it about the music and listen, you go to your dressing room. I'm going to go to mine. We're going to go over here mm-hmm. and then we're going to come together on stage, kill it yeah. and give our fans what we and then get our checks and go home. Yeah. I think it's a personal choice when okay. you want to do the right thing. Um, for me, yes. You know, I'm always, I love to find a resolve. If you see how just very adamant I was in the beginning without even having SWV be a part of any internal issues that we had, because we had some in, internal issues with management. I just wanted to make sure we resolve that before we even went and to talk about anything thing else okay so you know that's what it is with me um as far as the other girls are concerned you know coco is my friend and we talk about this all the time we it's we hate the fact that we did not get a chance to do what we set out to do yeah um, but i definitely want people to look at the show you mm-hmm. know let it play out in its entirety so people can kind of get a real understanding of what happens when you put women together who you know been doing a lot you got families you got so many things that people they'll be able to see everything yeah. play out this time around so i mean it's highs and lows with anything it's peaks and valleys but it's just how we maneuver through it I, I'm, I'm really interested to see myself how it's all edited and, and brought to life to oh be is that you. the hard part though when you do reality tv mm-hmm. <laughs> like okay mm-hmm. so we know that things happen and things are said yeah but then the way that it's edited and oh. brought back i feel like then you're going to have to relive it again mm-hmm. because you're going to do interviews and they're going to be like, well, girl, well, what happened with this? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like a cycle. Do you are do you have any hands in the editing process none. or anything? I, okay. We have no, okay. no, I have none okay. whatsoever. Like, to be honest with you, when you guys saw it, I think that that is when we were actually watching it so things oh, were playing y'all saw out for the first time yeah no it wasn't like we saw this and they gave us a link or click it was like right before right it's the day before so what you guys saw it was we we, we just saw it too so oh. no we i have no hand in anything oh wow at okay all. yeah okay nope and so it just makes it sweeter that you can you know move forward mm-hmm. and say all right you know what? I'm going to work on my music and I'm going to do my own thing in my own lane and really going back to your roots. Yeah. Which is gospel music. Yeah. And I, and I want to be clear when I say this, when I, when I go back to my roots, it's not leaving my group. Mm -hmm. So I think people are getting the wrong message when it comes down to what I love. What I love is music. What I love, I still, those are my sisters. We go back and forth, but I've always wanted to sing. Never, ever wanted to leave the group. Mm -hmm. I think, Everybody's had their time to shine. I've supported all the girls and what they've done. I know Candy did her project, supported mm-hmm. her when she did her um, show she had. I think it was called Mama's Something. I forgot the name of it. The the play. The play, the, yes. Yeah. And she anything she's ever done, I've been there to support. I've been in the house. Same thing with Tiny when she put her EP out, my sister as well. Mm-hmm. But I don't know, every time it gets to me, it's like that big sister thing. You go somewhere, where are you going? Like, I, can I just branch out a little bit? Can I do you my, know just a little bit? I think as, as you know, from the outside looking in, mm-hmm. I think what it looks like is whenever you guys make an announcement and like, okay, we're going to get back together and we're going to do this and we're going to go on tour and the yeah. fans are like, yes. Uh-huh. And then, you know, you see promos where it's just the three ladies yeah. and Tasha's not there. Yeah. And then you see headlines or maybe quotes where it's like, well, 
Latasha is going to do her own project. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that it's fair to you just because you have not actually come out and said, this is what it is. This is what's happening. It's just kind of like a narrative that doesn't involve the source. You mm-hmm. understand what I'm saying? Right. And so that's what it looks like from the outside yeah. looking in. Uh, yeah. That whenever there's a project that's about to drop, Tasha like, oh, I'm about to do my own thing, though. Y'all go ahead. Yeah, no, but what happens is, keep in mind, I've never been able to do it. Every time I've tried to even, even before we came back to do the tour, it was always something. Um, and I just feel jaded, you know, at times because of that. that. I yeah. was going to ask that. I do. I feel a way. Because when God gives you a gift, I don't think that people should be able to put that in a box. I don't care who you are. And that's for anything. It's not just singing. Anything that you want to do in life, just to have somebody say, well, you shouldn't be able to go somewhere because of this. Mm. It's very, it's it's sad, you know, because I just feel like it's a gift. And a gift is supposed to be shared. It's not supposed to be held on to. And this is my gift. And I should be able to do that. Not saying that I'm not going to be able to be, I always fulfill my, all of my obligations. So whether I'm going to do a tour, I'm going to finish the tour. <clears throat> Excuse me, but when it's time for me to do music, I should be able to do that too. And I think some people, a lot of people, kind of see now, like, wait, let her go, let her do some stuff, y'all. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. if you could, without any response from your sisters, without people chiming in, without mm-hmm. it going back and forth, yeah. If you could tell them what you need, what would that be? What you need from them? What to support. I, I need like, from you is you know, under. Like, you know what I'm saying? This was not. Standing. This was not playing. I was not that. going there. But, a little bit of understanding. But what do you? Yeah, seriously, because. At, at the end of the day, that's what I was able to give everybody else. I understood when they said, oh, I want to go do Broadway. Fine. I'm going to yeah. support you. I understood what Tiny was like. My kids didn't even know I could sing. And then she goes and, do, and does her EP. I was okay. front and center at the winery. Like, she did her whole show. And I was like, yes, I get it. My sister, the same thing. She did the family affair. Nobody even included me on it. But I was right there to, you know, to applaud. And I think I just don't get that same. The love does, is never reciprocated on my end. I, and I don't know what that's about. Maybe y'all can help me understand. You know what? what? I'm like, at this point, we need to know. get Iyanla to really yeah. <laughs> like sit down yeah. and, and break some things down individually. And then you guys come together as a group because it's been so long and you guys yeah. are legendary. And Thank we you. we love your music and we want to see not just, you know, the ladies are great. Yeah. But if one person is missing, we're like... Come on, y'all. Can we get everybody Yeah, but then that's together? also the beauty, though, that we're able to do the same thing BBD and, and New Edition did. It's okay to be able to do that. Absolutely. And I think with people, we get so um, stagnant at times when we this is what we see. Mm-hmm. There's so many other things and facets and moving parts when it comes down to people and what they give, man. Yeah. It's, just, yeah. it's just... But we want you guys to be able to do... Separate projects. And come back together. Come back together. Yes. And there be no, like, beef or anything like that. Because I'm going to tell you, when y'all first came back, because, you know, th- there were issues with other ladies in the group. And then that was hashed out. We're like, okay, yes, now escape about to be back. And, and yeah. then it was that. But, you know, I'm happy But that's that the maturity you- level, even on my end, when it's like that. It's like, I, you got to come in and be the big sister. Yeah. But now yeah. big sister just want to spread her wings a little bit. But I, I, yeah. I want to reassure everybody, this is not a break up. When you start to see us move different ways. Now, we do have times when we be like, oh, huh, you this and that. <laughs> but we come yeah, right back. Yeah. Keep in mind, we did this prior to. We did the, um, the, what was that last thing that we did? We had to come back for the TV One special. Then somebody tried to take our life story. So we weren't even talking then. This is just the things that we do. We go through as women. Yeah. We come back together. We still give y'all the good music and performances. Although I know the only thing I will say about music, Candy didn't want to do music again. She said, she don't said ask her. She said that she was reluctant. And no, even she said she didn't want to. At all. At all. New music. No new music. <laughs> no, she just okay. felt like she wanted to make sure that we sold the same amount of records. But for me, oh. it's never been about record sales. It's always been about. It's always music. been about the music. And I said, it's never been predicated on album sales. When we first came out, we just said, we, we're going to hit the ground running. We want people to hear us. We wanted to be known. We wanted the people to understand that we had a gift. We had, we could sing. And then it started to become about numbers. And with us, when we didn't think about the numbers, we just skyrocketed. And when you start thinking about numbers, you're starting to put a little bit too much in front of the the cart in front of the horse. Mm. Like, just do what you love to do. People are going to embrace it. To me, it's not about the numbers. With her, it is. And that's why she said, I don't want to do music. Because what happens when we fail? I'm like, 
how can we fail? Well, listen, SWV how? Coco said we're not doing no new music because y'all didn't buy yeah, the last two Yeah, that's true too. Come on, y'all, so. y'all got to support. <laughs> y'all got to support. Yeah. You know when yeah. when your favorites come back and put that's out absolutely true. You know what's true to them. Yeah. Um, I do want to get your opinion on the whole life story. Somebody trying to take you know y'all story, and that was quite shocking that. Yeah. It was even happening, and I know Candy spoke on it. But what are your what were your thoughts? Um, I wasn't happy with it because nobody can tell your story the way that you can. It's your story, um, so I agree with everything in the beginning. I know that they everybody was kind of coming against Jermaine because they were like, "How he gonna tell our story? He don't, you know, he just was the producer." And I said, "Well, let's talk about it once again. I'm the we're not gonna go out in public and start doing all this craziness. We're gonna talk to Jermaine." So I called him myself and I said, "Listen, the girls are very unhappy." Tell me what's going on. And he was like, I did not sell any rights. All they did was come to me and ask me for the music. I can't tell y'all story. And I said, well, listen, can you sit down with us? Let's all sit down in a, in a big room and we're going to hash everything out. You tell them the same thing you're telling me. I believe you. And they was like, you believe anything he says? I'm like, all I can do is allow somebody to speak their truth. Mm-hmm. And when you get them in the room and you say, and then after that, they have to be held accountable for the things that they say and do. So he was honest and said, no, I was going to give them the music and that was it. So we said, can you hold off on that? Because we want to do it. And he did just that. That's all it takes is communication and sit down. Okay, and so then we can expect that to start rolling. I don't know because it's like, yeah, we, we can't get y'all. Yeah, but then and then too, when we talked about it, we just didn't want it to be a two or three night thing. Tiny and I, as well as I think my sister at the time, was like, we should make it into a series because mm. our life, like we've been through so much, and I don't think. Three nights would do it for Escape. I really don't. Because we're still moving. It's still going on. It's not like we stopped. Yeah. So it's so many different things. So I think that a series would be wonderful. Same thing the Wu-Tang Clan did. Okay. You know, yeah. something yeah. like that. Something More like so that. than just a three night thing. Okay. So yeah. that's what we go. See, people don't know. It still takes time to sit and, and contemplate on everything. You can't just be like, oh, we're going to throw it out there. And it's like, Dad, we forgot this part. It's still This part is happening. So, yeah, no, we want to make sure we tell our whole story. Yeah. And it mm-hmm. requires you all to come together yes. as, as well. So yes. that'll be a great uh you know, working exercise That's for, true. for That's y'all true. to, you know uh-huh. what I mean? Yeah. Work it out and relive and rehash a lot of the great yeah. moments and the great things. We're still that here. Happened. We're still yeah. here. We're still blessed. We're still being able to do so. Yeah, I think that once, you know, everybody focusing in their mind because it's mm-hmm. all about a personal choice of being mature and coming to the table saying this is what we want. Yeah. And that's it. And so now you are moving towards gospel music. Which I said, you yes. know, is it's back to your roots yes. of just, you know, singing in the church. Mm-hmm. And is this something that you thought about for a while? I doing? Have. Because you've been doing R&B and, you know, putting out projects and singles and you're on soundtracks and, yeah. and all of those things. So what made you want to steer into um, gospel this time around? Um, I've always wanted to do gospel. Always wanted to go back. I even in the words of my grandmother, she's like, "I want you, you guys, to go back and do the gospel." That was the one mm-hmm. thing. And then the things that I had gone through, you know, outside of you know just what I'm going through now, but life happens, mm-hmm. you know. And so I've actually had to sit down and have that conversation with God on several different things. I'm like, "Why is this happening to me? What is going on on this end, Lord? I need you." So I was able to take to the pen and put my all of my confessions down, talk to God and actually bring this to life for other people to go to be healed, to be restored, to be uplifted. That's what this is about. So when I talk about the gospel, it is about just my spiritual journey, you know, that I want to share with everybody else. And so it's very meaningful to me because anytime you're in this industry, you have to learn how to just hold on to your faith. And yeah. step out on faith, you know, and I always ask God to order myself. And as things are starting to happen, I'm learning that when it's, there are no wrinkles and when there's when it's easy, like it was easy for me to be like, I'm going to do this gospel album and go in and do it and get it done. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, oh, I got a deal like this is happening. Like and it just happened. And everything started opening up everything. And that's when I knew that yeah. God is, was answering my prayers, those things that I was speaking to him on. And it's just important. It's not just about Sunday worship. You know, you have to take him with you every day. And I've learned to do that. And so I just want to share that you don't have to be over religious. You know, you, you just get that conversation, get that relationship. And I promise you, whatever you're going through, God going to make a way because he's making a way Absolutely. right now. Absolutely.
absolutely. Yes. And you know, music heals. And it sounds like this project for you is one of, of healing. Yes. And going through, you know, things that you look back and like, oh my gosh. Yeah. I can't believe like yeah. when I was in it. Man. I thought it w- I thought I wasn't going to make it through. I promise you, I would come out of some of those scenes in tears. Yeah. And I went and I poured my heart out through song, through this gift. So when you guys hear it, it's going to touch your heart because mm-hmm. it definitely came from mine. Yeah. Definitely. And so moving forward with this um this new style, not even new style, but you know, with the inspirational side of things, do you th- Think you want to stay in this lane? You want to tour your on your own? Because I'm telling you right now, as soon as what? Tasha announced her tour What's up? <laughs> for her album, they gonna What's like, up? see, yeah, I knew she wasn't coming back. But besides all of that, where do you want this lane to go? I want to do everything. Yeah. Uh, you may even hear me do country. I might go pop. I might. This time that we have on this earth. You should be able to explore all options, anything that you want to do. And I don't want anybody. I've been held back so long. It's so many times it's been a door closed. It's been, no, you can't do that. And I just developed dyslexia. It's on. Everything is turned around for me now. It's not going to be no. It's going to be what I feel necessary to do. If I feel it in my heart to go tomorrow and go do a rap song, let's go. Right. That's just what it is. You know, this this sounds like a rebirth for you. And yeah. it's a different energy yeah. For you, it's like, no, she's not angry. She's no. not feeling away. She's really just walking in her truth and That's being it. who she is. And you know what? A lot of people don't like it. A no, lot of people don't. don't like when you are in that healing phase. Yeah. Or, but, but I will say that a lot of people can relate to everything that you have mm-hmm. gone through and that Man. you're going through. And so for you to even to talk about it, uh, how deep do you go within it? Um, a lot of things stem from even me being the big girl of the group. You know, it, it, mm. it goes back to my childhood of saying, you just ain't cute enough. It's a lot that I've had to deal with and to, to be able to get over. So and sometimes when we go through things, we think, oh, my gosh, why me? Why am I the only one going through this? And then mm-hmm. as you start to talk to other people, it's like, girl, I've been through the same thing in my workplace or I my husband and I, you know, it's just that. Yeah. So my life and the things I've gone through is just not for me. Yeah. So this journey is going to be a journey for everybody. Even that's why I wrote the cookbook. You know, it's like, listen, I was the big girl. So you can learn how to cook right, eat healthy and put back into yourself and love yourself. Because I did not love myself for a very long time. I was the girl in the back. It's like you taking up too much space. I'm going to need you to be back there. So wow. it's a lot of people in the back. That yeah. need to have their voices heard. So Latasha yeah. planted the lifestyle. Yes. Are you still plant? Are you plant based? Like plant all based. the way? Yes, plant based. Oh girl, and yeah. I'm getting there. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm inching. That's okay. Because <laughs> that bacon keep calling me. They okay. have that too. They have vegan bacon too. That's really we're not really going to do the carrot bacon. No, Natasha. it's not carrot. Oh, it's not I, carrot. I it's say, jackfruit. It. It's so oh, good. Oh, oh, there, I have to start trying. Yeah, that. And I think that that's really great for you. To mm-hmm. put that out there to yeah. say, hey, I wasn't happy with myself at Mm-mm. a certain point in time because people look at you and they're like, oh, she's a celebrity. Oh, she has money. Oh, she has fame. But they don't understand that you're still human. I'm a human being. And, you, and that you still go through things. Yeah. And your new single off the album, Afraid. Yes. Can you talk about that? Because for me, when I first see I'm like, oh, OK, mm-hmm. is this a fear? Is this overcoming fear? Is mm-hmm. this? And so talk about the process in even coming with coming up with that song. Well, it's definitely overcoming fear. You yeah. know, sometimes we put our trust in people and they let us down. You know, I've had situations where I'm like, these are my sisters. This is my family. These are people I love. And mm-hmm. they come back and it comes back to bite you hard. In the butt. it's like, what did I do? Like, why are y'all coming? Why are y'all mad at me? So it was all of those things. And I'm like, Lord, I, I'm just afraid to even tell people my ideas. I'm afraid to trust people with anything that I got to say. Because it's like, uh-uh. Yeah. No, girl. And it's like, wow. All I need you to do is don't go nowhere. Hold my hand through this process. Mm. Show me what to do. Because it's like, if I go here, it's something said. But I know at the end of the day, when I come to you, you're going to give me a word. You're going to give me what I need. So that's what this song comes from. It was like, I was just afraid. Of, when I say afraid, I was like, okay, should I talk to this person? I can't even, you can't even be overjoyed for the things that are going on and happening in your life for some people. Some people don't want you to succeed. They like when you're down. 
They you like that. about that. And you know what? And I think that fear and a lot of, a lot of times it holds us back yes. from the things that we are meant to do. And especially when it comes to family, that means like my trust is all over. If I can't trust my family, you think I'm going to trust you? Yes. And you think I'm going to trust anything that you're telling me? Yes. And and it goes back to how you felt about yourself as well. Because people could say, Man. Tasha, you are so <clears throat> beautiful. You are yeah. so talented. Girl, you look good. You're... And because you don't trust the people in your life or things that you've been through, mm-hmm. it's hard for that. And Very so hard. for you telling this story, I think it's um, or sharing your journey. I think it's incredible. And I think that a lot of people never looked at it in that way. Like, oh, well, Tasha has feelings. Well, what's her side of it? Yeah. Well, how is she navigating through this entire thing? Yeah, I've it's, been a quiet person. I'm very I don't want to say I'm an introvert, but I keep things inward you know yeah. and i do you know pray about things and i have my grandmother that i talk to and there i have spiritual people that i have in my life but i'm very much so one of those type of people that i don't talk much but when i do talk i got something to say <laughs> i ain't just talking yes. yeah i love that okay now last but not least uh your reality series mm-hmm. made girl music camp so talk about you know this reality series and first of well, all can i just say this what's up i don't know if people know that you were a mouseketeer is, did i read well, that right well that we were, were on we were on the um the nickelodeon the channel oh, yeah because okay. i was no like, we would never yeah i need to see yeah if- but you know what's crazy justin timberlake was there <laughs> Uh-huh. And then what you know I, the, my name the names just be going out of my head but justin timberlake was there was britney spears oh okay um god and all the other little, yeah, on the tip of my tongue. But actor, a famous actor. Um, but yeah, no, all those people were on the show, and we just happened to be a guest on the show. Oh, and okay. so as I go back and look at it, even my son, be like, "Mom, y'all were with Justin Timberlake." And I'm <laughs> like, "Yeah, Britney Spears, all these people." I was I'm like, like, "Yeah, I gotta go back and look at this." Yes. I was like, "I'm not gonna but yeah." So, May Girl Music Camp. You talk about it. I mean, May Girl, May Girl, May Girl Music. First of all, I'm gonna start with May Girl. Um, okay. I felt like I was a made girl because what doesn't break you makes you stronger, right? Mm. And I wanted to be the face for people who were not comfortable in their skin because I've been there. So it's like I wanted to make athleisure wear. I wanted to create a company that women can be empowered just looking and, and being inspired by. You know, now owning my own label, signing myself to my label, and not have to rush out to these labels to be like, let me get money, do doing everything myself so i just want to be a light that's all so may girl is a light for so many people who like how do you do this and i want to be able to be there for women who say hey how does it how does it do how do you do when you go into studios and how do you do when you want to be able to be on the theater like i want to be that person to be the liaison to say hey i have a school for you guys there's Mm -hmm. a boot camp for people that want to eat right you want to learn how to cook? I got a class for that, too. So I'm working on a lot of different things for women because I just didn't see that growing up. I didn't have, oh, I, let me go over here. Because everybody's not going to go to college. they just not. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you have to take up a trade. And then we have to get behind your children and people who you see talent and gifts in. It's like you got to champion that. And we're not doing that. But I want to be that. I want to be that person to champion that. Those and things. having your own, la- first of all, that's the real flex right there. <laughs> but yeah. I will say it's. A lot of work. A lot. You know what I mean? Because you don't have this machine behind you mm-hmm. and you really have to hit the pavement. You got to grind yeah. out with that. And I think it's incredible because, you know, I say it all the time. Some, especially when you're navigating the industry, you don't have people that always have your best interests. They don't. And that's the thing. I, I, I've hit hard, dark roads. And I'm when you're talking to somebody who's been through something, that's who you want to talk to. You don't want to talk to people that don't know. I've been there. We've we've had bad deals. You know, we've had people tell us to do things. And so I've learned throughout the years. Mm-hmm. And I want to be a teacher because I've been a student of the game for for a very long time. Mm-hmm. So it's okay to teach now. I think I'm in a Tasha, I'm in I think a you're in your be... master class phase oh, Okay, right now. <laughs> I'm on master class. <laughs> I think Love you're it. in the master class yes. phase. And I, that's what it is. I want to give a master class for so many women who, who are just looking for a voice. Mm-hmm. Somebody to say, hey, I understand. You you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. I was there. I know exactly what you're talking about. I know what it feels like. I'm, I'm her and you're me. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So let everyone know about, you know, this is a forthcoming gospel album. The Invitation, A Conversation with God. Yes. 
It is my baby. It is my is a rebirth for me. It is is restoration for me and it's healing for me. And I want to I just want to kind of mirror that for everybody else. When you hear the record, the records, all these all this music, you'll hear it. Yeah. And then, I, you know, certain people have already started hitting me like, oh, my gosh, my life has changed. You know, I, I had a bad time and I listened to certain songs. and I'm like, wow. Wow. It's doing it already. I'm affecting yeah. change and affecting lives, and that's what God wants me to do. Not to be out here bash. I'm not here to bash nobody. I'm not. I'm here to help. And I, I'm glad that you said that because mm-hmm. I'm sure a lot of people are waiting to say, oh, my gosh, what's she going yeah, she no, to say not now? She's on a whole yes. different journey, mm-hmm. a whole different vibe right now. Mm-hmm. And really, you know, coming into your own, finally able to shine and do it your way. Yes. And so I respect you Thank for that. You. So now you have to introduce your new single okay my new single comes from my heart it is called afraid it is off my label i want y'all to pay attention to it get into it it's gonna heal you i promise you latasha scott thank you for joining me today (laughs) thank you